Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my updated designer handbag collection. Now I've had quite a few people requesting an updated collection so I thought I would share it with you. It is actually going to be pretty quick so I thought I'd also show you my designer SLGs as well and if you don't know what SLGs are they are small leather goods. So I'm going to dive right into it and what I'll do is I'll talk about each of the bag, um, I'll talk about how it's worn and then I'll also show you guys what it looks like on my frame and I'm I'm five foot eight for reference. So the first bag I want to talk about is the first designer handbag I ever bought, and it is the Poinza Schooler PS11 satchel. And unfortunately, the lights I have going on in here aren't doing it any justice. But I bought this six years ago. I was in the US with my best friend, and I dragged her around everywhere trying to find it. In the end, I bought it off La Garçon because it was the only place I could actually find it. But I am so pleased with this. I mean, as you can see. It doesn't look like it's in pristine condition, but I have battered the heck out of this thing. It has ended up going through downpours with me. I've dropped it on the ground a few times by accident, which as you can imagine, I panicked as well. But yeah, it, it it's just one of those bags that I'm so glad that I've got. I still wear it all the time. It's actually my current bag. Now, the only thing that I would complain about is here, the little screws on the hardware have come loose. One of them has actually come out and I don't know what happened to it. And as you can see, the hardware has oxidized just a little bit slightly. But this is my first designer handbag purchase and one that I'm so glad to actually have. And as I said, I still use it all the time. So the next bag I wanted to mention, I got just before Christmas and this was a little bit of a Christmas present to myself. And it is the mini Pashley from 3.1 by Philip Lim or just Philip Lim. Uh, this is in sort of a beige color and I've attached a little poofy thing on the side. I love the color of this. I love the silver hardware. I just think that it helps to keep things really casual. I really like the size. I'm actually not a huge fan of the larger Pashley sizes or the backpack, but this size really spoke to me. I like that you can undo these zips here and just give the bag a bit of extra space. I'll show you what it looks like inside, but essentially it just undoes with this clasp on the front, clasp, sorry, on the front, um, opens up like that. And then as you can see, it's just sort of a one big pocket. And then it has this smaller little pocket here at the back where you can put things like your card case or your keys or whatever it is that you want to put in there and see how the bag actually extends forward like that. This is what I love about the zippers. So yeah, this has been wearing really well. I have gotten color transfer on the back. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because I did wipe it off, but I have had a little bit of scratching here from where I was trying to get rid of some blue dye from a pair of jeans. So that is something you do have to be mindful of if you are thinking of getting this bag. But I absolutely adore it. And I am planning to do a full review and what's in my bag of the Mini Patchley, but probably not for another couple of months. So yeah, I thought I'd just share you a little bit of an update for now. So those are the two bags that I have. The rest of the items I have are more small bags or small leather goods. So as you can see, I've got a really, really small designer handbag collection. And what happened was I sold a lot of my bags ahead of the wedding. That was my priority. But at the moment, I have been looking into buying a new designer handbag and I'm currently tossing up between the Givenchy Pandora box bag, the Celine Sangle bag, and there was one more. Can't remember it at the moment, but there are a few bags that I've sort of been tossing up in between and I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. Honestly, at the moment, I'm kind of saving towards some other things, which for me, more important than buying a new handbag. But I'm sure I will end up getting a new one at some point this year. But let's just continue on. So the next bag I want to mention is the Lulu Guinness box clutch with the lipstick clasp, opening closure, whatever you call it. So this opens like that. And as you can see, it's got this really incredible fabric lining. This is black and white striped, which I just love. There's a little pocket in there, but honestly, you can't get a lot in here. And then it has a gold chain strap like this. So you can either hold it or you can wear it on your shoulder with the strap. I really, really like this. I think it is super, super duper cute. It's one of the bags that I use a lot whenever I'm going out, just as I feel like it's really classy. It's just very elegant and I think it's also a little bit quirky with the lipstick on the top. So that's my Ludwig Guinness clutch. 
And then the last bag is my Charlotte Olympia Feline Purse. So this is in the blush colour and it's got the gold kitty face on the front. You guys know how much I love Charlotte Olympia. And this just opens up like this. You can actually use it as a little mini clutch if you want, just like that. Or it's got a leather strap that you can attach to. And this is a little bit very similar to the wallet on chains, except it's got a leather strap instead. So when you open it up, you can see here, this is where you look the strap through. It's got one little pocket in the front here, and then it's lined with gold, and then it's got all of these little card slots. So I use this a lot when I'm going shopping. I take this traveling as I find it's really easy because I can just slot my hotel room key in there and my phone, a lipstick, and that's really all I need. Um, but day to day, this is definitely not the most practical bag, but I do love it and I do reach for it. I haven't had any issues with color transfer at the moment. As you can see, the leather at the back has kind of like, um, I don't know, it's sort of dent indented a little bit and I'm wondering if that's because I don't stuff it. I just keep the strap inside. I'm not sure. If any of you have this bag and you've got the same issue, would love to know your thoughts on that. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. It's such a little cutie and you're going to see there's a bit of a theme when it comes to Charlotte Olympia with my small leather goods. So now I'm moving into the category of small leather goods and I'm not sure if you'd call this next brand a designer label but I thought I would include it anyway. So it is this little pink wallet from Michael Kors and I bought this when I was in New York. I'd been looking at it online but for some reason I, I missed out and then I managed to track it down in one of the shops which I felt so pleased about. So it's this really beautiful salmon pink. It's got a little pocket here on the back and then when you open it up, and this is what I love about it, it actually has two other little compartments. So the main one looks like this. So you've got a big pocket here. This is pretty much almost the same size as the Charlotte Olympia purse. Um, it's got a little card slots and then it comes with these additional two card holders here. So this one is a bright red, which I love, and you can put your driver's license in here. There's, how many pockets are there? There's five pockets, and then you've also got the interior one, and that's just lined with sort of a nylon fabric. And then it also comes with this little pouch with the chain attached, and I love this. This is just in a really pretty coral. Again, it's got that same sort of nylon interior. And I like the fact that when you put this in here, and you will have seen this from when I pulled it out. You can hold it like that. I think it's so cute. Uh, I actually haven't used this as much as I thought I would. This is in a Safiano leather, so it's really hardy, really durable. It's not going to scratch or anything like that, which I like. So I know it's going to wear really well, but I just haven't had the opportunity to. You'll see from my next two items that I'm going to share with you guys why I haven't reached for this so much, but I do really like it, and I think that I'm just going to make more of an effort to use it this year. So the next two items are both from Charlotte Olympia and I've got two feline purses here. So I'll talk about my oldest one first. So I got this as a treat when I got my current job about two years ago now and I just absolutely adore this. I got it in the classic black because I figured that that would be great for putting into bags with raw leather interior. I wouldn't have to worry about color transfer or anything like that and I just got the simple one with one slot on each side and then it's got the interior pocket too. Now the only thing I've ever put in the interior pocket is a little bit of cash. I have never really tried to put any cards in there though I'm sure you could and I only have two cards in here because I didn't want to stretch it out and I actually had a little zippy coin purse that I used to put all of my other cards in. So I just had the ones that I reach for the most in here. So I've got my Opal card which is for getting the train and then I've got my everyday debit card. So that's made this a really great grab and go case for me and it's also the one that I tend to take when I am traveling as well. So this is worn really well, the glazing is all intact and the stitching all looks perfect. I have got no complaints about this, there is absolutely zero scratches on it either. I mean you can see there's a little bit of an indentation here from where my card sits with the little um, numbers on it. But other than that, it is in perfect condition. And then the other one I've got is the Feline Coin Purse, I believe this one is called. And I got this one last year around the same time as I got my Philip Lim bag. I got it about 50% off, so for me, that was a bit of a bargain, and I went for the red. And I just thought this was really fun, really different. So this has replaced the Zippy Coin Purse that I had. And I do think that this has had a little bit of color transfer around the glazing. Um, I'll try and do a close-up, but it does look slightly darkened 
on the edges so I do kind of wish maybe that I got in this in black but I love how practical this is so I've got my driver's license in the front which I'm not going to show you guys I look terrible in it and then you can see it's got a zippy pocket <laughs> zippy pocket down the center and then there are slots for cards on either side so I will usually put cash in the center one I don't put any coins and then yeah I've got all my other cards like my loyalty cards and then my credit card for traveling that sort of thing so yeah I really really like this I do think that this is really practical and probably definitely more so than this one here and it's just nice to have both of them so I know that if I want sometimes I can just grab this one like if I'm driving somewhere I'll just take this one with me because it has my driver's license in it and it has a card so if I need to make any purchases I know that I'm fine but yeah I do have both of these in my bag at all times and then the last small leather good I wanted to share with you guys is a key case I can't remember the exact name, but it's from Louis Vuitton, and it is the six key holder. I've got it the wrong way around. And I got mine in the Damia Aben with the rose ballerine lining. So it's got this beautiful blush pink uh, button on the front. And when you open it up, it looks like that. This is so pretty. And I got absolutely sold on buying this after watching so many reviews. I think Chase Amy possibly had talked about this and she was saying, if you're going to buy one thing from Louis Vuitton, make it this little key holder. So I bought this for a birthday present for myself this year. These retail for about $300 in case you were wondering. But I do think that this is such an incredible little piece. I love the fact it fits my... my um, keys in it. The only thing is I thought it was going to fit all of my keys in it and it doesn't fit my car key. It dangles at the bottom so I decided not to put it in there but I just thought that this would be a great piece. I love it. It just feels like a little bit of luxury when I am opening our house or you know getting access into our gate and all that sort of thing so love it and this is the coated canvas. So that is my entire designer handbag and small leather good collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm guessing that it's a lot smaller and a lot more tightly curated than you guys expected. But I mean, as you guys know, I tend to try and purchase and keep only the things that I love. And for me, these are those things. Anyway, I would love to know if you currently have your eye on a designer handbag. And please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more fashion videos from me. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you later. Bye.